Hi, my name is Juliana Crever and I'm a paleontologist. I've participated in countless digs around the world and recently discovered this bad boy. Now, you may be asking, what in God's name am I looking at? Well, this beautiful son of a gun is the Australopithecus sediba. I know that literally doesn't explain anything, but let me go ahead and tell you about it. So I came across this piece of work at the Malapa cave in South Africa. My team and I saw this hole in the ground near some trees and upon closer examination we realized that this led into a deep cave. Once inside, we discovered the remains of a few specimens of a sediba. Trapped in muddy sediment were the spectacularly preserved partial skeletons of an adult female and subadult male. My team would eventually come to the conclusion that around 1.95 million years ago, a female and her child were attempting to access water at the bottom of the cave when they fell in and died. Their corpses, along with the corpses of animals that died trying to eat their decaying bodies, were then washed away by rain and encased in a layer of mud. So that's... fun. But it's amazing that we were able to gain this much information from our findings. So what was a sediba like? Well, this species of early man had recently developed the ability to walk, but it was also arboreal, meaning it climbed trees. An examination of the wrist and hand reveals that the species was also capable of relatively complicated hand movements, which suggests the ability to construct basic tools. As discovered from samples of tooth plaque, this species diet consisted of various trees, herbs, shrubs, and animals that ate those. A sediba stood about 4.25 feet tall and weighed in at around 66 to 80 pounds. The sexual dimorphism is equivalent to that of humans today. Its brain case is smaller than that of the Homo genus, but larger than other members of the Australopithecus genus. This could suggest a shift in structure toward the skull of modern humans. This species also has a thinner brow ridge, smaller jaws, and a less sloping face than other species, all of which could point to early development into the modern human. Unfortunately, however, despite its striking similarity to the Homo genus, Australopithecus sediba was recently determined to only have around a 1% chance of having evolved into modern humans. This is due to the fact that the A. sediba actually postdates the earliest species of Homo by about 800,000 years. Well, I hope you learned a thing or two about the Australopithecus sediba. Thanks for tuning in.